All right. I got my uh, trying a different uh, mic out. Uh, was so topic for today. Um, I don't really have one. I'm not a topic based motor vlogger. I, I like to showcase the area I live in uh, and talk about the bike I ride. Uh, and if something really comes up, if, 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 like on the forums, people ask me questions uh, related to to my bike, then, then I'll answer them via the vlog. Because, you know, I'm sure other people are, are thinking the same thing. So I got... 148 miles on my Ducati. I've had it for a, not even a full week yet. Uh, I really only rode it a little bit on Saturday and Sunday. And I've been really busy this week. Slammed, as a matter of fact, this week. It was completely look at that dirt. Oh, that would have been bad. Oh, that would have been bad. Um, so, yeah, I've been uh, really slammed this week and did not have the opportunity to ride. Got home today, and it's early too, man. It's like, I don't know, four o'clock. And um, I decided, you know what, it's sunny. I'm gonna go for a ride. Should be going to the gym. That's the problem when you get the scrambler, man. It's so much fun. Uh, it is so much fun. Uh, <laughs> you know, as much as I like going to the gym working out, that is not what um, I'm gonna be doing right now. Um, somebody else today on the forums wrote, is, is, is the Scramble a real Ducati? Yeah, man, it's a real Ducati, all right? <laughs> it's made by Ducati. Um, yes, it is a real Ducati, okay? Um, it is the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not the most powerful Ducati, okay? Um, in the market right now, it's the least powerful in the lineup, but I gotta tell you, man, that does not take away from the fun factor. Um, it really doesn't. It, it, you know, the fun factor is there on this bike. Um, it, it really is. My, uh, I keep checking my uh, my GoPro, man. I think I can do batteries because this thing was just fully charged and. I've only been talking for a couple of minutes and it's already like a half charge right now. Or I'm down one bar. So, I, mean, I was riding for a little bit and I think I had it on before I actually hit record, so that is part of it. Um, it's a fun bike, guys. I'll tell you this right now. It is fun. It's got plenty of torque. It's user-friendly fun, man. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. It is user-friendly fun. Okay, um, that's what everybody needs to understand. Um, in traffic, when you're on this bike, um, you're working the clutch, right? It's effortless, effortless working the clutch. Okay, um, it's got plenty of power. Um, you know, if you're coming off a bigger bike, yeah, you're going to feel, or more powerful bikes, you know, sports-oriented bike, you're going to feel that, that lack of power. Um, you be like, oh, you might be a little disappointed. Once you're riding for a while, you really get used to it. You under, you start getting comfortable with the power, the power band, and, and just the way the gearing is on it. It's, it's awesome, man. It's perfect. Um, it is perfect, again, for the urban environment. Um, and, and the word is really effortless. It just ends up being so effortless. Um, you know, that's the bottom. That's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, so, so I'm very happy with the purchase, guys. Uh, again, I, I, I give it a thumbs up. Okay, the bike, the bike's solid. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with it. 
I, I, I Damn, it's hot. I test rode the um, the Triumph, man. Um, before I got on the bike, I test rode the Triumph. Um, the, the dealership um, where I bought this bike um, carries both Ducati and Triumph in it, as well as Metric bikes. And you know, I got I got to admit the 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 Scrambler, the Triumph they had there on display. It was nice. It was it had a nice dark blue color to it, and there was like a a matte blue, right? It was just really well done. Um, and if there wasn't a Ducati Scrambler, man, I I would have been tempted to really look look hard at that bike. Um, so it had the looks, right? And. And I test rode it a week before this bike came out. So I was there, and guess okay, you know, check check it out. I was like, all right. So I get in the bike, man, and uh, like I said, it, it it's got the look. Hmm. Yeah, it's got the look, and but it was reliable. And they had all the cool Triumph gear next to it. They got and they got some nice gear. I'm not gonna lie. There's some really nice leather jackets there uh, with the Triumph, uh, you know, from Triumph brand. Um, not that that's any reason to swing. That's not gonna swing me to buy a motorcycle, but it's, it's cool to check out. And it, and it definitely makes an impact on you when you're when you're looking at bikes. And they had all the other Triumphs there too. So get on it, um, and I'm excited, and I'm riding it, man. And the thing was just a pig. I'm telling you, man, it was just a pig, you know. And I'm gonna have to bust out some moto journalists. Uh, I can't remember if it's Motorcycle USA or Motorcycle.com. It's one of those. They they did a comparison. <laughs> Well, they did a comparison with the Ducati Scrambler to the Triumph. And this is, there is no comparison, guys. There isn't. I mean, if you want to get the Triumph because you like Triumphs and you just like the look, okay, cool. But if you can talk about ride quality and, you know, how they perform. There is no comparison. The, the Ducati blows it away, man. Oh, look at that deer. Look at that. Look at that deer right there. You guys see that? Look at that. Look at that. That is cool. They're doing the road. That would not be cool if... Uh, Look at that. And look at these homes. Beautiful. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, so I got another thing, and what well, I do like it is the seat's a little bit higher, but not too much. And, and it does feel like a bigger bike. And I, I like that. Um, but, Man, it was a pig. His performance wasn't there. You know. Um, you know, quite honestly, just it just didn't have the performance, man. It was just too old school, right? Uh, I mean, I kind of like old school looks, but new school technology. Well, that Triumph is just old school looks and old school technology. And I'm, I'm gonna get some haters on this, right? So I'm gonna get some dislikes <laughs> on this video, and people are gonna be like. What are you talking about, man? No, look, you know, Ducati doesn't pay me. I don't give a shit about Ducati. Uh, I'm not on their payroll. And I go with the better. And I'm not brand loyal, man. I'll tell you this right now. I've owned Harley Davidsons. I've owned I own a Victory. Uh, I've owned Moto Guzzi. I've owned Yamaha. I've owned uh, their muscle, uh, uh, their cruiser brand, uh, Star. And I've considered just about every bike that comes out. If I like it, I'm going to look at it. Um, 
and I go with the performance, how it feels overall, and value, and kind of what I want. So, anyhow, yeah, the Triumph man, two thumbs down, and I don't see how it even compares, man. I don't see how somebody can go into a dealership where they sell both these bikes and walk out with the Triumph with their version of the Scrambler. I, I, I can't see it, man. And what I suspect is, I'm sure if you go on Craigslist right now, in your prospective cities or countries, you can see a lot of Triumph Scramblers for sale because people are gonna, people are gonna wanna buy this bike. Um, if you want the Scrambler set up, then th this is it, man. This is the bike to get. Um, it truly outperformed it. Um, so, you know, like I said, this bike, uh, more deer. Um, this bike will make a very good companion what I would say for a second motorcycle for somebody. If you're experienced and you're coming out with big bikes. Okay? If you sold Patagali, if you sold your Diablo, you know, or your Evo Monster or Hyper Rotar, your 821 Monster Hyper Rotar, or Multi Strata, or you're coming up with another big bike, man, a performance bike, whether it's BMW or a Street Triple from Triumph or, you know, Yamaha or, or, or you know, KTM, whatever, man. Um, look at that house, guys. Just check that house out. It's like cool. You are not gonna like it, okay? Um, you are just, and in and, and, and the sense of you coming off that bike and this is your only bike, you're an experienced rider. Again, whether you're an adventure tour or a sports tour or you know, guy let's do track days or whatever the case may be, I don't think you're gonna be very happy with this motorcycle. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't think you will, but if you have one of those bikes, right, or even if you have a V-twin, right, you got a big V-twin, and, you know, or one of those other bikes I just mentioned, and you want something to tool around town with, to just, just kind of get on, and it's, it's not that serious of a bike, man, you know, and that's kind of what I like about it. It's just a very simple bike. Yeah, you know, I'm wearing all, you know, protective, you know, I got riding jeans on, I got riding boots on, got some gloves and gear, but I'm not all leathered out, man, you know, you know, what, what, I can wear a three-quarters helmet with this thing, you know, go modular with it, I'm wearing my shorty right now, you can wear a lot of different, different kind of looks, and just, you know, if you just want to ride around town sometimes, you don't want to go on a, on a long road trip, I mean, just imagine, if you get your Multistrada, man, and you're, and you're trying to tool around town with it, yeah, I could do it, but... How cool is that? How fun is that? Big, heavy bike. Um, so, you know, you get something like this as a second bike, I think it'll make a lot of people really happy. Um, so that's kind of what I recommended. If you're a seasoned motorcycle rider, seasoned rider, and you got another high performance machine of some type in your garage, ooh, look at that. Um, and, and you want something chill, something mellow, but something fun too, right? You want something fun. You want to have fun with it. You want you, you can explore on it, you see a little trail, the side road. You can take it, man. You know, um, you got some twisties. You can take that. You know, I'm gonna pop some wheelies, pop some wheelies too. Um, this is that kind of motorcycle. I also recommend this motorcycle for the first-time rider. Although I still think it might be a, a bit much for the first-time rider. Uh, you know, but yeah, I do recommend it for a first time rider. It's, it's mellow enough where you can learn on it. Um, and then it has enough to keep you engaged and entertained as you progress in, in, as a rider. So that's kind of what I, who I recommend the bike for, okay? Look at that. Got a nice cruiser right there. Two nice cruisers. And try to face the beach. 
I want to show you this. So if you kind of see my, my, my motor block style is I will basically talk about an issue and then I'll kind of show you the area that I'm riding at and just stop when there's beautiful things to look at like this. I'm sorry for the mouth breathing man but I got that mic right next to my mouth so And it seems the scrambler is the thing right now. Uh, what I want to segue now and talk about is 2015 year the scrambler, man. It seems everybody is talking about it, right? You know, and Tribe's been doing it for a while, but they can get that, that, that pick of a bike. You know, it's heavy, and it's not very fun to ride. But um, it's the scrambler craze, right? So, you know, the, uh, BMW is rumored to, to have one coming out. Um, next year or the year after believe it or not there's even rumors of harley uh using the the engine they got their street 750 maybe doing a scrambler uh <coughs> excuse me um there's not a rumor but i read an open letter to victory that was posted on right apart which is pretty cool uh to use the engine they got in the scout and do their version of the scrambler and why not guys that's what i say why the f not um knowing what i know about those three companies i think the bmw would have a solid solid scrambler uh they, they would probably be the only thing close to giving this thing a run for its money um followed by my victory i think victory with that scout platform that would be a mean ass scrambler i think it would be be right on the money Still recording. I think I think one thing I think Harley would get the, the look right. A bunch of sand right there. Slow down. Um, I think Harley would would, would would do the look right. They'll get the fit and finish right. <laughs> they get you the best clothes to go with it. All kind of cool scrambler gear probably. Performance though, man. I've ridden that Street 750. I've ridden it in in its cruiser form. I think it's gutless guys as much as you know i'm all for new technology i'm all for it you know if the bike was lighter then that 750 engine as it's tuned on, on the street 750 might have worked but the way the bike and the way that engine is tuned it was gutless not a fan i think it looks cool though i really do i think they get the look right oh who else can go scandal room the yamaha bolt right do a version of that they can do that very easily especially now that they did the bolt with the uh the cafe design on i think it's called c-spec or something like that um but they could easily turn bang out a scrambler I, I think they'll get it right too i think they'll get really close to it um so it'll be interesting to see interesting to see if these companies will actually do it i don't i think the closest one to actually doing it is bmw and it'd be cool to see Victory do theirs, I think. And, and Harley, or anybody else, Yamaha. It's also interesting to see how long the Scrambler craze will last. I'll give Ducati props, man, as much as I, I think their marketing campaign is cheesy. Um, but they, they've definitely done something in the motorcycle world that's captured everybody's attention to the scrambler so i'll give them that they got that right what is going on here okay people like that turn